Well, happy Easter team. Great to share life with you again. I wanted to connect as we enter into this Easter season and to share with you some fruit from this past month at Damascus uh, and then share a little bit about my life as well. And so I wanted to take an opportunity to thank you for your support of Damascus up till now and of me as a missionary. I'm, I, I'm attaching to this, to this uh, email a talk that I've given to thousands of kids over the past month. It's called, Who is Jesus? I think it might be God is Love in, in, the, in the audio file. But I've given this talk to thousands of kids and we've seen some extraordinary change over the course of retreat at Damascus. This has happened over and over this past month. We'll bring in high school students who are either agnostic, often atheist, um, not Catholic a lot of the time. Uh, maybe they'll, they're sent to Catholic school because they're from an inner city and they're able to go to a better school outside of the city or because their parents never want them to go to private school. And over the course of, of a retreat, they'll go from a place of, you know, again, agnosticism, atheist, sometimes practicing witchcraft or Wicca, which is becoming a more common trend we'll see we're seeing, um, to a profound meeting with the extravagant love and peace of Jesus of Nazareth, the God-man. And it totally changes their lives. They'll go back into their schools and parishes just absolutely on fire with the love of God. It's just a, it's a, it's a profound privilege for me to witness and... I know you guys don't see this on a day to day, but I wanted to share that, that, that this is the fruit of your investment in me as a missionary. So thank you. I've been giving a message, a talk to these thousands of kids uh, over the past month. And the message is, who is Jesus? I'll give you a little taste. If you'd like to listen to it, feel free to. There's obviously a pressure there. The years are really busy lives. But um, the Jesus that we've often learned about in religious education in Catholic school, things like that, maybe from society or culture, is that Jesus was a, a really good man and, and a moral teacher, like in some cases, like Confucius or Buddha or Gandhi. And um, he taught people generally a similar message to any moral teacher, which is to be kind and nice, and generous, honest, um, and, and, and to live an upright and virtuous lifestyle. And obviously that's not totally wrong. There's some truth in that. But I challenge that in my message. And I say, that Jesus that we, we think we know never existed. Jesus was a dangerous man. At times he was even violent, but never violent in a way that it would obstruct someone's dignity. And he brought affliction to anybody who was comfortable. And he brought a comfort to anybody who had been afflicted in the time. He challenged every single person to give up everything they had and to follow him and him alone, to reserve their love for him and him alone. And he demonstrated that he was who he said he was by performing miracles and the like, which he still does today. And he said, unless you do this, you won't have life. I am the only way to life. This Jesus was, he was powerfully influential. People by the tens of thousands left their homes, and their livelihoods to follow him wherever he would lead. At times, even to the point of starving, and then he would feed them, as we know from the scripture. And he was put to death because the most influential people of the day feared his influence. That includes even the Romans, who were the equivalent of the United States of America. Imagine a person so powerful and influential. And as we know, three days later, he rose from the dead and the entire world changed. So that's the Jesus that I know and love. And I know that you know and love as well. And so maybe you'll like the message. Uh, we've seen tremendous conversion through the work God's been doing at Damascus. I have a, an audio file of some testimonies as well of just kids who, who explain to, to, in tears and uh, in exasperation how they, they didn't, they were like, how I didn't even, they're just, they're just beyond belief, but they've been touched by God and they can't deny it. Um, so thank you again for <laughs> your support uh, for, as to me really quickly. Uh, in the next two weeks, I'll be visiting two religious communities. And so I'm visiting a group in Minnesota called the Companions of Christ. They're a group of diocesan priests and they live in community. I'll also be visiting some Capuchin Franciscan friars in Philadelphia and just going to be open to God's call. I feel like a draw to, to, to the priesthood, mostly because I just feel a draw to give my life down and, and to preach the gospel with it. And so uh, I pray for your, I ask for your prayers as I, as I do this. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to what God has for me in that. But um, again, thank you guys for your support by prayers and finances for me to be on mission. Um, I know you probably don't see in your day-to-day -day the kind of conversion that I have the privilege of seeing, but you are directly responsible for it. And I don't believe there's any other better way that you're spending your time or resources than on this mission. Uh, we're bringing salvation to people and it's going to echo through eternity. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys are the best. God bless you. Happy Easter. And we'll connect with you soon.